In order to get the correct value of drill pipe pressure, you need to have the correct floating bumping procedure. These following procedures will demonstrate you how to bump the float correctly in order to get shut in drill pipe pressure. Step by step to get the float to bump and obtain the correct drill pipe pressure. 1. Ensure well is properly shut in. No leak or whatever. 2. Record shutting casing pressure. 3. Pump as slowly as possible. Pump speed of 5 to 10 stroke per minute at constant pumping speed down into the drill pipe and keep monitoring the drill pipe pressure and the casing pressure. At this stage, you will see the drill pipe pressure increase while pumping. At this stage, you need to monitor carefully for a lull on the drill pipe pressure which will occur when the float is opened. The drill pipe pressure showing when the lull is first seen as your shut in drill pipe pressure. Moreover, you also need to verify that the float has been opened by continuing to pump down the drill pipe slowly until you see an increase in the casing pressure. It should happen very quickly after a lull was seen on the drill pipe gauge. 4. Shut down the pumping operation as soon as increase in casing pressure is detected. 5. Check the shutting casing pressure again. If there is any excess casing pressure, you may let off some pressure in small increments until it equates or a little bit above shutting casing pressure in steps number 2. If you are interested in drilling formulas and oil field knowledge, please visit www.drillingformulas.com.